Yo, dudes! Here's another Ancestry update! Yay! I know so many of you view my genetics videos like three people <laughs> literally are interested in them. But I have another update for you. So, uh, some time ago, m a few months ago now, I took 23andMe, the Ancestry and Health tests. And I have a whole playlist talking about my findings. Um, this is my 23andMe Ancestry Composition Report to remind you. Um, so I am over 98% European. Um, so that's split between Southern European, specifically Sicily, with a little bit of Spanish Portuguese, some kind of general Southern European. And then, so that's my biological father's side. And then on my mum's side, I'm Northwestern European, split from British and Irish, French and German, a little bit of Scandinavian. So, um, and then also just a tiny bit of North African and Arabian or West Asian which will come from the Sicilian side because Sicily is so close to North Africa and the Middle East. Um, so then what I did was I took two more tests because I wanted to compare 23andMe with other available DNA tests that are on the market. So I took living DNA and ancestry DNA. So a couple of weeks ago now I did an update because my living DNA test results came back. I took living DNA and ancestry DNA, the tests on the same day. I posted them in the same post box and living DNA came back relatively quickly. Within four weeks, ancestry DNA took six weeks or so something along, roughly. So, um, yeah, I was impressed by the speed of Living DNA, but I don't think Living DNA, it's a newer service and I don't think they've quite got it right yet. Um, so if you want me to do a more in-depth video comparing, like going through, comparing each type of test, if you're thinking of taking one, then I'm happy to do that, something more in-depth. But I kind of think people on this channel are not really that interested. But anyway, so I'm going to show you just briefly the test just to remind you. And then what Living DNA does allow you to do is to um, import your genome that has been taken from another service into their databank. So I've tried to do that and it's because I've downloaded my 23andMe database i've uploaded it to living dna and and on the 18th of may as you can see and it still says it's under quality review so i don't know what that means but this is the test that living dna gave me my internet's been really slow at the moment honestly okay So it's given me um, 80, sorry, 94.3% Europe and 5% from the Near East or nearly 6% from the Near East. What it didn't do was give me, uh, it didn't find, it found, it found Italy, it found broadly European and it found um some of the Arabian, what it didn't do very well was find my Sicilian because I am 50%, you know, from, from Sicily, obviously there's, you know, there's, there's people coming in from all over the Mediterranean. So yeah, it, it wasn't so good at finding that. And I'm, I'm guessing it's because of its database. Uh, but what it, what Living DNA does do and watch my video on this, it gives you a regional breakdown from the United Kingdom. So if you've got a British ancestry, then you might enjoy living DNA. Right, so those are the two that I took, uh, I've, I've, I've shown you so far. Um, so da -na 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 -na, a few days ago, my ancestry DNA came back. So this is my ancestry DNA story, my DNA story. Yes, indeed. So um, 
ancestry dna they've been going quite a while they're meant to have the biggest database from like 100 or more different populations all over the world and then you can comp they compare markers in in your genome with the samples that they've got from these people all over the world so that's how these things work so it's given me 37 percent england and wales and northwest europe so if we look at this so england and wales northwest europe it's comparable isn't it and and then 36 percent italy so 38% Italy, it came up, and then three other regions. So, uh, let's look. So, all right. So, 13% Ireland and Scotland, but when you look on the map, what I'll do is I'll make this bigger. Okay, so when you look on the map, that's Ireland and Scotland. Ireland and Scotland actually covers Wales as well. And I do have a little bit of Welsh ancestry and possibly a little bit of Scottish ancestry, just going a quite a few generations back. Um, France, it's picked up. So in this one, it picked up France and German. Um, it didn't pick up... Um, it didn't pick up North Africa, but what it did do was pick up Greece and the Balkans, but that includes some of the Near East. So again, it's so close to Sicily that, that I'll give them that. I'll give them that. So very, very similar to 23andMe. Um, because I have a DNA tree, no, sorry, because I have a family tree that I've been doing on Ancestry for years, and I do have a video on my ancestry. Again, about three people have watched it. Um, what you can do, I mean, there's not really, if you've not got um, an ancestry membership and you're into family history and developing your tree, then I don't know what else you could do with ancestry DNA, to be honest with you. You know, 23 and me, at least you, you get a you get a, a health breakdown if you if you want it whereas that's not available on um, ancestry dna and uh, you know you've got on 23 and me i've played with it no end i've really enjoyed it because you know you can look up you've the, the, it, it has a browse raw data and it has like a a search a certain little mini search engine so you can look up genes and you can look up gene markers whereas that's not available on ancestry dna as far as i know it's not available so i would recommend 23andme just just personally speaking um if you've if you've not got any um interest in developing a family tree uh, but like I said, I'm happy to compare all the services that I've used um, in detail if people want that. So because I've paired my DNA with my tree, then it gives you an extra set of things, people in your tree. I don't know how it does this because, right, these are people in my tree, right? These are some of my ancestors, but... Uh, so it's picked up someone from Wales and it's picked up 16 people from Northern England. But this, these are people I've put in. It's not like it's found their DNA, is it? <laughs> it can't do that because these people are long dead. And then if you go like to 1950, um, it, it's completely wrong because it finds somebody in the US in my tree who i know it's an ancestor i know has never been to the us so i assume it's because there's shared dna in that area which kind of makes sense because a lot of sicilians emigrated to the us so it's picked up that's my great great grandma that's my great grandma hannah that's my great granddad daniel and yes they are the actual per people <laughs> that I have pictures of so it's kind of you know it's a play play thing and I've not got any DNA matches with people who might want to kind of contact with me like you know second cousins and whatever so yeah um there you go so very similar ancestry results and uh yeah it's a fun service I, like I said I do prefer 23andMe I like the layout better and I like playing with the search engine thing the the browse raw data feature 
So that's it. If you've got any questions about Ancestry, about these services, then I'll leave a comment. I'll try my best to answer. You know, I can only give you the benefit of my experience, obviously. Um, none of these tests are sponsored. I paid for all of these tests myself. Um, yeah, I might do another one. Um, I've been looking at my heritage, and there's one, I think there's one called Family, Family Tree DNA. Is it? Is it? I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, so I might do another one just, just for the crack. And uh, <laughs> there you go. So, so yeah, any questions, comments, uh, leave them below. And I will speak to you very soon. Wait, guys.